It's been four days since three Lakeside High School students were killed in a Labor Day crash on I-85 tonight. The Lakeside community came together to honor those students during a pre-game ceremony. Well, Fox 5's Eric Mock joins us now live outside Adams Stadium where that tribute took place. Eric, obviously an emotional night for students and staff. Yeah, you could tell a lot of parents and students were still really hurting tonight. Now, they held a special ceremony at the school earlier today just for students and staff, but tonight here they wanted to include the whole community. Let's remember the smiles, the laughs, and all the love that these beautiful young ladies gave the world and celebrate them. A somber start to Thursday's Lakeside High School football game. But it's the kind this community needed. I think it just lets you know you're not alone. Um, you know, we're all in the same boat. It's, it's, it's tough. Lakeside High School principal Dr. Susan Stoddard says they wanted to honor these students Thursday with the whole community. Ashley Gayton, Katie Gayton, and Coral Lorenzo and two other teens were killed Monday when Gwinnett County police say their car went over the wall of the flyover on State Road 316's westbound ramp to I-85 South. The two seniors, you know, getting ready to, to think about the next chapter in their life. And we have one junior um, that unfortunately died as well. And one was in ROTC. They were in art. Um, they just were, you know, full, you know, um, teenagers. Uh, music and art and friends and social, you know, life was, was big for them. Katie was in the JROTC for all of her high school career. Before the games, her fellow cadets honored her with a flag folding and honorary salute. Then at halftime, friends of all three students took to the field for a balloon release in their honor. You could see how deeply these students feel the loss. And she hopes the ceremony serves as a reminder to cherish their loved ones. You can't take them for granted. To learn that at 14, 15, and 16 is hard, um, but I think that's what they're going to walk away with is that um, we matter, and we matter to each other, and, uh, and we should let each other know that. Now, Dr. Sired says there were grief, clan, grief counselors at the school all week, and they'll continue to have them there as long as the students need them. Reporting live in DeKalb County, Eric Mock, Fox 5 News. Eric, thank you so much.